Today on That LTD Life, it is video to page. This is a new lifetime deal over at AppSumo that allows you to take any video file or audio file, podcasters, and transform it into a document. Now, we're not just talking blog posts. Of course, it can do that, but it can also create things like standard operating procedures for your business or supplemental content for your online courses. I'm gonna be showing this application from beginning to end, pointing out everything I like, as well as those things that I dislike. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, so if you wanna support the content, you can consider clicking on my affiliate link for AppSumo in the description. All right, let's get into this. Before we go right into the tool, I wanna to point out it's currently on sale until October 7th, at which point it doesn't go away. It's still gonna be available as a lifetime deal, but the price will increase. Right now it's 59 bucks. I am using the tier one $59 plan to make this video. I assume it will probably go up to $69 after October 7th. Now, if you feel like you have deja vu, I did just review video to blog not a few weeks ago, very similar named product and a very similar application. So obviously I'm gonna have to make a few comparisons as we go through this, but I do have a dedicated video on video to blog. So perhaps the best thing to do is to watch both videos and determine which one works best for your workflow. They are very different tools, so they'll appeal to different people. I mean, they're different tools. They're not very different tools. Let's say that. All right, let's get into it. All right, this is video to page. You can see here, I've already got one project in existence. I've been playing around with this a little bit to understand how it works. Now to get started, it's very simple. You just simply enter in your YouTube URL right here. If you've got a video, you can also upload a audio or video file or record audio directly into your browser. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I will upload a YouTube video to just show you how this works. All right, I've got the URL for a recent episode of the Taco Truck Roundup. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit generate here. And now it starts processing the video immediately in the background. You can see it's uploading or really downloading from YouTube at this point. It's gonna transcribe things. And while it's doing that, I can choose what type of content I'd like to create. Now it's organized here based on different use factors. So we've got blogging, content creation, educational content, and transcription. So the options in blogging are going to be things like long form blog posts, listicles. Uh, one that might be relevant to me would be reviews, but we could also have you know interviews. Let's say you're doing a podcast and you wanna make an article about your interview. You could do that. It's gonna have uh, discussions with experts inside of it. All right, you can see here, my video has been processed and I'm not even through the first section of content types. The next section is called content creation. And here it's gonna focus on SEO focused articles, marketing content, or podcast materials. So I think the idea here is that it will create scripts or outlines based on a video. So think reaction videos, or maybe there's just a YouTube video that you found very compelling and you wanna make a podcast on a similar subject. You could feed that video into video to page and then it will generate an outline for you and then you could start podcasting. I think that is a really interesting use case. Under educational content, you can create a tutorial slash course or documentation. So this will be maybe if you're doing step-by-step -step videos on how to do something in an application, you could create documentation for that. The last option down here is transcription video digest an in-depth exploration of the video content. That's very appealing to a lot of people. I think you might just want to do this to very quickly get through some YouTube videos. Then we also have a clean transcript. Now I want to point out that there is a transcript produced for every video as well. So you don't necessarily need to choose this one. Now, a few things about this interface that I think could be improved. Number one is you can only choose one content type at a time. So if I wanted to choose the review option here, but I also want to have the video digest, well, as soon as I choose video digest, it unchecks the review. So I can't grab multiple options here. It's single select checkboxes only. Now that's not really that big a deal because you can change the type of content later on as it says down here, but it might be nice to have it create several documents at once, especially if you have multiple use cases. The other thing I don't love is these collapsible sections. It makes it a little bit confusing to get through these toggles. Uh, I just would like if it was a full list, you know, just give me a full page here and it doesn't even need to be a modal. Just let me choose what is happening. I think that would be a better user experience. But for now, we are going to go with review and I will do create review right here and we're off to the races. It's gonna start generating the content in the background. I'm gonna see stuff start to fill in. I think the first thing we'll probably see are going to be things like uh, snapshots or screenshots of the actual video, as well as the section headings. 
So you can see here, we've got a title. It says Taco Truck Roundup Lifetime Deal Reviews. And there is my video. I've also got uh, the date that it was posted, as well as we've got our introduction, our legit section, goes in forms, rank lytics, and notch. These are the tools that were in the most recent episode of the Taco Truck Roundup, which if you're not familiar, the Taco Truck Roundup is a summary video. These videos, these full dedicated videos can get to be a little bit long. So once a week, I summarize stuff into the Taco Truck Roundup. Definitely check out those. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. All right, so more content is filling in here. It, overall, it's a pretty impressive tool. It does add in quite a few quotes. We can modify this. I'll show you that later on. Uh, and then it grabs screenshots and you can't really choose where the screenshots are. So sometimes you look like this uh, and that's okay. You know, now my mouth's open. So it's it's all right. It's I like having the screenshots. I think they look pretty good uh, and I'm, I'm happy to have them over not having them. I think it adds a lot of appeal to the article to just have some images sprinkled in. There are also these little timestamps right here. And if I click on them, it will load the exact timestamp up inside of the video player here. So if I hit play, uh, you can see it, it is currently at that exact time it was when I hit when I hit that timestamp. So if I want to go back to zero, I can do that right here. So if I want to go to 18 seconds, I can click right here, hit play, and I'm at 18 seconds. Okay, so we're currently looking at a preview of the document. You can edit this, but let's say you just wanted to go ahead and publish. What are your options? Well, over here, there is a share button. I can click on this and you do have the ability to just send the video to page link out. If you want to you know, use this on your show notes of your podcast, that would be fine. It's the lowest tech, easiest way to get going. However, probably the least secure long-term thing to do in case something ever happens to video page, you'll probably want to have a backup of this. So uh, by the way, there is options for things like SEO metadata for using their public link. Now, if you could also download this file as well as use the public link, nothing wrong with that. Then you have a backup. Your options here are to use the Markdown pages, Markdown one page. So let me explain this. When video to page actually creates a document, each individual section can also be its own page. So the Markdown pages would be having each section on its own page, or you could do Markdown on a single page. And I'll show you more of what that means later on because it does come into play. Now there is also HTML versions and PDF versions if you like. Notice it says it will contain all pages in this project. The last option I was very happy to see, which is exporting to wordpress.com, wordpress.org, or even Notion. So that is really cool to see. I think video to blog also had Ghost and Medium, but I don't think it had Notion. So if you're a Notion user and maybe you wanna create those SOPs, that's gonna be a great connection. Okay, let's head over to the editor here. Let's say we wanted to make some changes to this document. We'll open up the editor. And what we're gonna see here are all of the individual sections. Now remember, these are also the pages on the document. So they can have URLs, dedicated URLs for each section. We can also change the generator or the section that it's meant to be. So if we wanna rerun the AI later on for any individual section, we can do so. We can give it a little bit of guidance here saying, oh, this is maybe just the overview or maybe this is the index page. Uh, you know, here are all of the different generators you can choose from on a page by page or section by section basis. So here for the Gozen forms review, it's using the case study generator, but maybe I wanted to use a different one, like maybe the key points option. That would be another valid one to try out. The other two sections you see over here for time and status, these are informational only. You cannot edit these. It just tells you what point in the video the actual section occurs and then generated showing that, you know, it has generated content already. Now down below this section, we actually get custom instructions for each section. So I can go ahead and modify the custom instructions. It looks like it says undefined here. Probably don't need it to say that, but otherwise it says outline introduction to Dave Swift and his review style, so on and so forth. If you find that it's creating too many quotes, you can go into the custom instructions and just strip out the quotes or add in quotes that you want to use. So here it says quotes, and then we've got four different quotes for this section. Maybe that's too much, so I can just select the last quote and maybe delete it. Now, because I just removed that quote, it says modified content detected. Click the generate all button to update the content, and here's the generate all button. But I might wanna make some other changes first. Like for example, rather than using an informational tone, maybe I wanna be more friendly or authoritative. I could choose one of the, these different tones of voice. Uh, let's go with casual. And then if I hit generate all, it's gonna go ahead and recreate the entire article for me. 
You can see it's working here. It's got the different spinning wheels. If I open up the preview screen, the content is now generating once again. It goes pretty fast to make an article. Uh, very impressive that it downloads it all from YouTube and then creates the transcript and does the generation of article you know, in a very, very short amount of time. So now you can see this intro is very friendly sounding. It says, welcome to the Taco Truck Roundup. I'm Dave Swift. If you're new here, I dive into a new lifetime deal every day of the week. Now I'm currently in that single page view, but there is another view that you can go into. So I'm gonna go back into the project here. And if I were to edit in the, any individual section, I'm gonna see the multi-page view. It's kind of like a little table of contents over here, but as you get to the end of the article, rather than you know just going on to the next section, I need to go ahead and click over to the other page. So we can see the page names up here are introduction, legit review, which is what I'm currently on. Then we've got goes and forms review. So down here, I do have a link in the article it created that takes me to that other page. Now, unfortunately, these links are not working. I did try this on another document and it worked great. So maybe just a little snag right here, but if I wanna see what the other sections look like, I could do it right here and then update anything I want. This is a full editor here. So if I wanted to change this into a link, of course, I can just use the WYSIWYG editor up here. Or if you prefer Markdown, there is an option for that as well. Here's what the Markdown editor looks like. Pretty good, maybe just a little bit small in terms of the text. But otherwise, if you prefer Markdown, this is good to go. I mean, you can always just make, make it bigger, right? Okay, so we were looking over on the info section. I changed the tone of voice and that generated a new article after I hit generate all. But there's some other options up here. I've got a summary of the video. I can modify this by hand if I want. I have an SRT file. This is used for closed captions. So you could download this SRT file. It's got timestamps in it and then upload it to your video player or even YouTube. At YouTube will do this automatically and then your video will be able to use closed captions. Very helpful if you're using some kind of self-hosted video because then you generally don't have closed captions. And the final option over here is for transcription. Like I mentioned before, it creates a full transcription of everything that goes through it. So unless you just don't need any content, you probably would never choose that transcription template. One thing about the transcription is it would be nice if there was an export or a copy button instead. You know, this is a long video. I just have to kind of scroll to copy it all. If I wanted to, you know, maybe put this somewhere else on the internet or use it inside of a different chatbot. So if you get through the article and you decide, you know what, this format is just not working for me. Like they mentioned before, you can change the template right over here. It's currently on review, but if I click on change template, I get another picker. I, I mentioned some complaints I had with the other system, but I feel like this one is even worse because now thing, it, things are not organized at all. And I don't think all of the options are here as well, but let's say I wanted to do the video digest option. I could choose that and then hit change and regenerate. It'll make a whole new article, but this time it'll use the video digest template. Really nice that there's not a lot of custom prompting to get the initial output. Uh, and it's very easy to generate and there's no credit system as far as I can see in terms of how many AI generations you use. So go ahead and keep playing with it until you get the desired outputs. That was one thing about video to blog that I think was inferior to video to page. Instead of using a time-based system like video to page does, it uses a video number system. So it's cheaper here for the lowest price plan, but with that plan, you only get 10 blog posts per month. And let's say you upload something from YouTube and it can't grab screenshots. Well, then you have to create a whole new article and you're down to nine videos per month. And after you create that one, you've used two credits, but you've really only gotten one article. That exact scenario actually happened in my full length review. Video to blog is still a very high quality tool and superior in some ways. So if you wanna know more, definitely check out my full length review of video to blog. But man, video to page versus video to blog, could these products be any more similar in their naming conventions? All right, there's really only one feature to talk about, and then we're gonna head back over to AppSumo, talk about the plans and pricing, and that is the chat assistant. So the chat assistant is there all the time, whether or not you're working in a single section. You can see over here, we've got the chat assistant. We can pop it up in a sidebar, or if you're working on the overall you know, project page for that individual project. Uh, there is a, an assistant over here and it says like, hey, we've created these different pages and then you can give it some feedback. They give you some suggestions down here, like add a new page or change the transcription or even change the language. Let's go ahead and change this into French. So I just clicked change language. It added this prompt in and I will add in French. 
and send this off. There is an option to talk to the chat as well. But I'll just send it off using the little template that it gave me. And now it's going to output the article in French, at least I hope. All right, so now it says all pages have been updated to French. And as I go through the different outlines here, you can see that they are all in French. I think I need to generate the content again. So if I hit preview here, yeah, the article has not been regenerated. Only the instructions were regenerated. So let's generate all. It's currently generating. We can still open up the preview, even though it's generating. We're just going to see the same kind of loading animation that we saw before. But we can see the section titles here. They are already in French. Uh, looks like the intro is still in English. My quotes are in French, but the article itself is still in English. So that's a little bit of a bummer because uh, it's not actually translating the whole article. I'm not going to give up here. I'm going to say that the instructions are in French, but the output is in English. So let's go ahead and submit this. Now, obviously their prompt here is change language. This should have worked, but I do want to work with the AI and see if it can output something a little bit better. Okay, so it assures me that everything has been updated to French. Let's regenerate and we'll check one last time before heading to AppSumo. And nope, it is not translating the video at all. It is still in English. So a little bit of a bummer there ending on a down note, whereas the rest of the tool I think was really impressive. Okay, here are the plans and pricing for video to page. Now, very important to note here that every plan is exactly the same. You're only limited based on the number of transcription hours you have. That is a great way to do things. Five hours at tier one, even though I got seven, they must give you a couple of bonus hours when you get started. Then there is a tier two for 12 hours, tier three, 28 hours. You can get 65 hours on tier four for $449 or tier five, $799, but 130 hours of transcription per month. You could run a whole business on this, just you know, contacting various podcasters and creating show notes for them. That is actually not a bad idea. All right, so video to page. Wow, a very impressive tool, a nearly flawless execution. Only error I found was the translation didn't work properly. I think it wouldn't be a problem if I recorded the video in French and then it would, you know, obviously have no issues handling that. But, you know, I was trying to repurpose it into another language and it definitely paused at that. But everything else was essentially flawless with very little need for any custom instructions. And that is a big upgrade over video to blog, which I still think is a very interesting tool and perhaps even a little bit nicer in terms of the user interface and overall usability. But I think I have to give the edge to video to page a little bit. I gave video to blog. This is even hard to talk about, right? You're probably getting confused hearing me say all these names. Video to blog was the old one and video to page was the tool I reviewed today. I'm going to give the edge to video to page, although I do think video to blog is a very strong tool. Video to page was just excellent with a you know, very, very minor mistake. So I gave video to blog a 7.9, which means video to page is going to get an 8.1. Excellent tool. Highly recommend it, checking it out. I've got a link in the description if you'd like to do so. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you check out clientamp.com. Get signed up for the free email newsletter and leave me a comment down below. If I got anything wrong or you just want to give me your impressions or comparisons between video to page and video to blog and any other similar tools, I want to hear about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.